Welcome to a, another episode of Body Craft by Body Tech. We're using clay today, guys. Exciting. We have a special guest. Special guest, round of applause. <laughs> Nick from Sparky's Electrical Services. Come on, Nick. Come on in. Come on, Nick. The people are waiting. Nick, come on, the people are waiting. Just while we wait for him to um, do hair and makeup, today we are going to be focusing on all things pelvis. Guys, welcome to Nico from Sparkies Electrical. He brings a lot of energy to the team. Right, so just work through it a bit. You know, kneading, they call it in the clay beers, in pottery. I've given us each three bits of clay. That's because the pelvis is made up of three bones. Pelvis. That's not helpful. Okay, well, I'm just going to start putting um, our bits into balls. So the pelvis, made up of three bones, it's a very tightly bound structure. The sacrum, which wedges in between the two big elephant ear bones at the back, that's your SIJ, your sacroiliac joint. So your sacrum and your ilia. The two big elephant bones are your ilia, Nico. Do you believe it? I can't believe it. Neither. Sacroiliac joint sprains, very common in clinic. Can be quite painful. Presents as lower back pain, maybe a bit of sciatica. Tight glutes, tight hip flexors. It's a common presentation. Right, Nico, you're doing so well there. I actually think it might need a bit of water. Have you... Oh, I think that was a good idea. No. Can you roll out two of your balls, Nico? <laughs> now, Nico, do you think you've ever had sacroiliac joint pain? Yeah, one, once I did. Yeah. How did it present? What did it feel like? It felt good. <laughs> Why did it feel good? Because you got an osteo treatment, I'm sure. The pubic area, that's a very common area for, I can hear a resounding Perhaps. osteitis pubis. Mm. I also noticed cracks. <laughs> Are you you look on eBay and you not buy pelvis? Another function of the pelvis, Nico, you wouldn't believe it, supports the contents of the pelvic bowl. You know how it does that? Holds your shit in. So this little hole here, guys, we're just going to indent into our template. That's where your hip joint articulates into. Oh my God, Nico, this is good. I'll just show you here, guys, at the moment, it's looking very two-dimensional. That's gonna to become totally 3D. This is a really three-dimensional way of thinking about anatomy. How cool is that, Nico? We get the gun mount for the hip joint. I would say that you can have quite an impact on the pelvis. I like to think of it as the keystone of the body. So that's one ilia, that's one elephant ear. You can see what I'm talking about, elephant ear. Nico's just had an emergency call out, so he uh, has to leave us. The pelvis is a tricky structure, guys, and not just with arts and crafts, but with treating it as well. But I believe you can influence it quite a bit in terms of working on muscle attachments to um, the pelvis. So we're talking about the glutes, the hip flexors, the hamstrings, the adductors, so like your groin muscles. Now I'm gonna work on the wedge-shaped bone in the back of the two ilia, which is the sacrum. One other thing that's important to note is the differences between male and female pelvises. The male pelvis tends to be narrower, but longer. The female pelvis tends to be shorter, but wider. How I'm gonna join this, Lord only knows at this stage. I wonder how Nico's going at that call out. The sacrum actually finishes as the coccyx bone. There's a joint between the sacrum and the coccyx bone. So you can actually manipulate that joint. The sacrum is five vertebra all fused together. So that's what makes it like one web wedge shaped bone, but it is actually fused. So we've got the wedge shaped bone at the back. We've got this spiny bit. Okay, this is coming along quite nicely. I'm just doing the best I can with what I've got. The pelvis is also super important for force distribution throughout the body. 
So if you're getting pain after walking, running, hopping, skipping, whatever it is, doesn't matter how, what degree of impact it is, we need to address the integrity of the pelvis to ensure that it can distribute ground forces, ground reaction forces adequately. What I mean by that is as soon as you hit the ground with your foot, the force goes through your foot, ankle, knee, hip, gets to the pelvis, then the pelvis has to absorb that force and then distribute it through the body. If the pelvis is dysfunctional, it will not distribute that force efficiently and you will end up with some sort of dysfunction, injury, whatever it may be. Oh, guys, it's falling apart. I think you guys are gonna be pretty bloody impressed with this. I think this is gonna be a female pelvis, judging by the width and height of it. Oh, the stick at the bloody front came out. Was it lunchtime yet? Oh my God, this has come apart again. I just can't even deal. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Should I start again? It's fallen to absolute bits. This is the pelvis. Oh, God. I've gone into damage control, and this can sometimes happen with the pelvis IRL in real life. It just doesn't want to cooperate. Things that can actually help, if that's the case, the st if the stability in the pelvis is compromised, you want to work on glute strength. That's number one, numero uno. You also want to work, in my opinion, on foot strength. So important for um, force transmission. That is much better. Lizzie, try to run a goddamn business. It's hard in these times. <laughs> when you're working with clay, it just makes it even harder. Just trying to run a business. Here, you can see the sacroiliac joint. Now, if we move to the side, you can just see how complicated and complex this structure is, you can't even make it with clay. As you wouldn't bloody read about it. I've done it. I have bloody done it. There's the pelvic bowl. The pelvic floor sits here. This is the uh, socket, the acetabulum of the hip joint. And then these are your sit bones here, your pubic bone. Keep trying until we get there. And this is the result. This is how good your pelvis could look. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you at the next Bodycraft by Bodytech episode.